welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Um, today's video is going to be an empties video. I just did one not too long ago, but I've already gone through a ton of more products, so I'm ready to throw them away. So before I do, I figured I would share, share with y'all and give y'all little mini reviews, whether I liked it, whether I'm going to repurchase again, or whether I hated it. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to do this in no particular order, just whatever I pull out of here first. So the first and largest thing I see is this Nivea Moisturizing Body Wash, and it's for dry skin. I have very dry skin, um, especially in the winter time. So I actually bought this over the summer because my skin was dry then. Um, it worked okay, but I didn't repurchase it. I wanted to find something a little bit more moisturizing. Um, I, I definitely wouldn't say it dried my skin out, but I wanted something more moisturizing. So I liked it but I didn't repurchase it. Okay, next up is this Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, I actually did really like this. I just haven't gotten around to repurchasing it, but that's not because I didn't like it. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been using other things that I have on hand, but I would definitely repurchase this again. I think it is affordable. I think it works well to break down your makeup, and it is definitely um, not irritating to your eyes whatsoever, which I really, really like. Um, and you can get it at the drugstore. You get 13.5 fluid ounces. I don't want to say it's around like $7, so that's not bad. I'm just realizing, was that in the shot? Okay, <laughs> I didn't look to see. Okay, so next up, these look a little gross, so I'm just going to hold them up for a second because they had lotion in them that I got out. These are from Trader Joe's. They are the Nourish Enriched Intensive Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer, suitable for dry and normal skin. Um, it's fragrance-free, paraben-free, and dermatologist-tested. I didn't realize that I had already gone through two, and I'm already on my third one. I actually really, really like this stuff. I think if you have normal to dry skin, you would really like it too. Um, it's not scented, so it doesn't irritate my skin whatsoever. It gives a nice moisture to it. If you have normal skin, you could probably use this at night. Um, I have normal skin. I like to use something just a little bit heavier at night, and I can totally use this under makeup. It sinks in really nicely. Um, if you have oily skin, it is a little bit thicker, so you might not want to use it during the day, but I think this would be really nice for at night. And this is like $5.99 at Trader Joe's, like you cannot beat the price. Um, the only downside that I have about this is the packaging. I'm not crazy. It comes with a pump. You can see the pump's gone because I've tried to get everything out of here. Um, so that's not really good for travel, plus it's kind of hard to get it out. Like you have to take the pump off once you get to the end and kind of like stick your finger in there, so that's kind of gross. But, um... It works really well, so I'm definitely going to keep purchasing it. And I just noticed there's no animal testing, so honestly, I can easily get over the packaging. This is a really good product. Okay, next up is the Boja Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I have bought this countless times. I don't even know how many. This stuff works so amazing. It is the best cleansing oil I have ever used. I've used multiples. Um, this is pricey. You get five fluid ounces, and I think it's around like, $25, don't quote me, but somewhere around there. Um, but it removes your makeup effortlessly. It doesn't irritate your eyes whatsoever. It doesn't irritate your skin. Your skin doesn't feel squeaky clean when you're done, but it feels clean. Like it feels like your makeup is absolutely gone and you can move in with an actual cleanser to cleanse your skin. Um, I think I might have a video on this. If I do, I'll link it in a card, but I absolutely love this stuff. Cannot recommend it enough. Um, same with the micellar water. I haven't repurchased it just because I've been using other things I have, but it doesn't mean that I won't um, or have anything against it. I really, really like this. Um, the thing that I do want to say is that this packaging is hard for travel. So that's the only downside about this product is that this packaging is not great for travel. Okay, next up is just a boring deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials. Um, I have pretty sensitive underarms and this doesn't seem to irritate them too much. Um, does irritate them a little because honestly everything irritates my underarms a little bit. But yeah, this stuff is one of the only antiperspirant deodorants that I can actually use. Next up, this is just a travel size of the Not Your Mother's Cream Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I've used this multiple times. I'm not gonna go into it, into it again because I'm sure y'all are like, we know. Okay, this is actually a little, I think it was like a hundred point perk that I got from Sephora. This is the Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm Global Protection Day Cream for sensitive skin. Um, I thought that this was nice and moisturizing. The one thing that I thought was kind of weird about it is that it's for sensitive skin, but it has a pretty strong smell. 
So if you're sensitive to smells, you probably won't like it. It didn't irritate my skin, but, um, sorry, <laughs> making me want to sneeze. Um, it didn't irritate my skin, but if you had very sensitive skin, I mean, why put fragrance in it if it's for sensitive skin? That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I liked it. Didn't really convince me to go out and purchase a full size, but I liked it. Okay, now this is a 100 point perk that did, it's got me pretty much convinced to buy a full size. This is the Rose Face Mask, infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones from Fresh Beauty. Um, this stuff is amazing. If you like the way roses smell, you will love this. It still smells like roses. It's on my nose. Um, this stuff is so relaxing. You, it's like a cooling gel mask. You put it on and it's just so relaxing. It's really nice to put on like if you're in the tub or if you're just having like a really relaxing night. It's just, uh, it's so relaxing and it smells amazing. And it's, it just feels like natural. I guess because of the scent, it feels like real roses, fresh and has, you know, like uses good ingredients. I, it's just like an all around awesome product, I think. Um, this was just a little sample size. The full size, I think you can get like one for 35 and maybe like one for 60. Um, but it's really, really good, guys. I kind of wish I didn't like it because I, I want to buy it. Okay, next up is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is in the shade Light. Um, I'm sure you have seen this. Everybody uses it. You just twist it up and it comes through this little sponge thing. Grosses some people out, doesn't gross me out. I always use it on a clean face, so that doesn't really bother me. Um, this is like six bucks. You can get it at the drugstore. It's incredibly lightweight, yet it has really good coverage. I absolutely love this stuff. Next up is another concealer. This one is the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. It's totally rubbed off, but I promise that's what it is. Um, and this is in the shade Sand, number 20. This is a really, really, really good dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. If you really like that, but you hate shelling out that money, it's in the same exact packaging. Um, it's got the same consistency. I Try this. You, I mean, what's what do you have to lose? Like seven bucks? Try it. You might be saving a whole lot of money if you like it just as much. Okay, next up I have a Lash Paradise. This one is in Waterproof that I picked up. Um, I have talked about this before. I really like this mascara. It's got this nice little brush, little curvy brush, real bristles, which I like. I'm not really a big fan of rubber bristle brushes. Brushes. Um, yeah, I really like this. I honestly don't think that you need to use waterproof in this formula because the regular formula works really well. Like unless you're planning on going to a pool or like, you know, uncontrollably sobbing without tissues, I don't think you need the waterproof. Just use the regular, you're fine. Next up, I have this LA Girl Pro Powder. This is just a, or I guess was, just a translucent, I don't know if you can see it going through the air, um, translucent white finishing powder. It was very light. Um, it's made out of silica, I believe. Yes, not talc, which I like. Um, I think it sets your makeup really nicely. It isn't really drying. It doesn't cling to dry patches I didn't find. Um, I was actually very impressed because this is really, really affordable. Um, I would definitely recommend this. It's kind of on par with the Makeup Forever HD. I mean, that one feels a little bit nicer, but like, this one's really good. Okay, next up is a NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It is an exact dupe for the Anastasia Brow, Brow Wiz, if you ask me. I have a video on this. I will leave it in a card right up, below, right up above. Um, this stuff is amazing. You got your little, you know, stuff where, part where the stuff comes out, and then you got your little spoolie. So, so, so good. And way more affordable, like half the price. Okay, only two more things left, guys. Um, this, I'll, all I have is the little cardboard package. That, oh, the razors came in here. Um, this is from Dollar Shave Club. If y'all have never used Dollar Shave Club, you really need to try it. Because if you're like me and it is, like, it's sickening to you how much razor blades cost at the drugstore, you need to try this. It is literally $8. You get a pack of these and a handle. Like, you know, whatever. I guess that's a handle. I don't know. 
Um, but for $8, like those packs of just the four of these are like $20 at the drugstore. This stuff is amazing. It is a subscription box. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just think that it's a really good deal and more people need to know about it. Um, so you just go on their website, it's a subscription box, but you can skip however many months you want. Like, I don't go through razors that often. I guess I should probably replace the blades more than I do, but honestly, like, I think I've skipped like the past eight months because one time I let it go like three months because I wasn't paying attention, so then I had like 16, no, what is, <laughs> I can't do math. Then I had 12 <laughs> razor blades, so that took me a while to go through. Um, but yeah, so this is a really good deal. They also make some other products that I've talked about before, like shave creams, um, anti, um, razor burn little serums and stuff. I think it's a really cool deal. Um, if I can find like a, a little link, I will leave it below. Um, but definitely check it out. It's called Dollar Shave Club. Okay, my last item is these Equate, or are these, I guess I should say, proper English, are these Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I think I've talked about these before. These are an amazing deal if you want to use a wipe to remove your makeup. This pack right here has 40, but you can buy a two pack, which makes it 80, from Walmart for, I wanna say like $5.99, which is a crazy deal, because these are knockoffs of the Neutrogena ones, but I think they actually work better than the Neutrogena ones, and they're about half the price. So. If you are in the market for some makeup removing wipes, please do yourself a favor, check these out. They're a really good deal. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but Equate is the Walmart brand. Okay guys, my empties bin is totally empty. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to be posting two times a week from here on out because I feel like y'all like it. Might as well just do it. I like to film videos. Might as well just do it, right? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry my dogs are barking in the other room. <laughs> I don't know what they're barking at. I'm going to have to go find out. But yes, I hope you like this video. Leave it a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe right here. And I'm going to go see what my dogs are barking about. Bye, y'all.